Your merciful love, O Lord, we have received in the midst of your temple. Your praise, O God, like your name, reaches the ends of the earth. Your right hand is filled with saving justice. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Welcome, brothers and sisters, to Mass at St. Mary's Helston. This is Monday of week 14 in the year. There is an optional commemoration of St. Maria Goretti. We should just remember her in the Eucharistic prayer. We're offering Mass today for the laity. It was great to have people present here in church yesterday morning, but today we are back to private Mass, so I welcome those joining me on Facebook and YouTube as my congregation this morning. First, brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you came to reconcile us to the Father and to one another. Lord, have mercy. You heal the wounds of our sin and division. Christ, have mercy. You intercede for us with the Father. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who in the abasement of your Son have raised up a fallen world, fill your faithful with holy joy. For on those who have rescued from slavery to sin, you bestow eternal gladness. To our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the prophet Hosea. It is the Lord who speaks. I am going to lure her and lead her out into the wilderness and speak to her heart. There she will respond to me as she did when she was young, as she did when she came out of the land of Egypt. When that day comes, it is the Lord who speaks, she will call me my husband. No longer will she call me my bear. I will betroth you to myself forever, betroth you with integrity and justice, with tenderness and love. I will betroth you to myself with faithfulness, and you will come to know the Lord. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord is kind and full of compassion. I will bless you day after day, and praise your name forever. The Lord is great, highly to be praised. His greatness cannot be measured. Age to age shall proclaim your works, shall declare your mighty deeds, shall speak of your splendour and glory, tell the tale of your wonderful works. They will speak of your terrible deeds, recount your greatness and might, they will recall your abundant goodness, age to age shall ring out your justice. The Lord is kind and full of compassion, slow to anger, abounding in love. How good is the Lord to all, compassionate to all his creatures. The Lord is kind and full of compassion. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Your words are spirit, Lord. The Lord. 
according to Matthew. While Jesus was speaking, up came one of the officials who bowed low in front of him and said, My daughter has just died, but come and lay your hand on her and her life will be saved. Jesus rose and with the disciples followed him. Then from behind him came a woman who had suffered from a hemorrhage for twelve years, and she touched the fringe of his cloak. For she said to herself, If I can only touch his cloak, I shall be well again. Jesus turned round and saw her, and he said to her, Courage, my daughter, your faith has restored you to health. And from that moment the woman was well again. When Jesus reached the official's house and saw the flute players with the crowd making a commotion, he said, Get out of here, the little girl is not dead, she is asleep. And they laughed at him. But when the people had been turned out, he went inside and took the little girl by the hand. And she stood up. And the news spread all round the countryside. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The Lord calls us to the closest possible loving friendship because we are so intimate we can share our needs and hopes with him. And so we pray that we may set, see time for prayer as a priority in our day that because we know we are loved by God, we may be more open with our friends, that we may joyfully and freely proclaim to others the goodness of God, that we ask the Lord to receive into his love those who have died recently, especially friends and family. Father, make us one with you always, so that our joy may be holy and our love may give life through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Through to the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Through the divine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, our Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at my hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. May this oblation dedicated to your name purify us, O Lord, and day by day bring our conduct closer to the life of heaven. We ask this through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. His death we celebrate in love. His resurrection we confess with living faith. 
and his coming in glory we await with unwavering hope. And so with all the angels and saints we praise you, and without end we acclaim, holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the Jewful, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. The time we were betrayed and ended willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have 
mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him and take away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called for the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Taste and see that the Lord is good. Bless the man who seeks refuge in him. Let us pray. Grant we pray, O Lord, that having been replenished by such great gifts, we may gain the prize of salvation and never cease to praise you through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And that is ended, go in peace. Thanks be to God. Amen.